I've been practicing yoga for about five years, and recently, last year, I became a yoga teacher. So I started to teach in real life yoga classes, and I also started my yoga YouTube channel. And yoga has offered me so much. I've built up so much strength, flexibility, mobility, and so much calm and peace in my busy life. So yoga has become an essential part of my life. So recently, my friend Vincent from my yoga studio saw my YouTube channel reviewing a lot of Costco unboxing and tryout haul review videos. And he's so kind, and he gifted me this present to try out. He got this from Costco. He was like, "You're a yoga teacher. You love to do yoga, and you do yoga videos as well. Maybe you can try out and review this item from Costco." So in today's video, we're going to unbox and review this three-piece set item from Costco. And I think this one has one yoga bolster, one meditation cushion, and one pranayama cushion. He got this one from Costco. So today we're gonna unbox and review these items together, and I'm gonna show you some of the ways to incorporate these items in your home yoga practice. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. The joy of unboxing. I would say like sometimes I do hate like cutting the tapes when it's like. You know, package is super. But I really, really enjoy the moment of opening that box. Woohoo! I guess these are what it looks like. Ooh, I think this is the meditation cushion. So this is from the brand Brentwood Home Los Angeles, right here. This is a brand. Ooh, the material is like super soft. And let's see. All right, guys, those are the three items inside of this box. It contains one meditation cushion, which is this one. It has a yoga bolster, which is the metal one, and a pranayama cushion. You may ask, what is pranayama? Pranayama is basically your breath, your life force, your energy. So that's the third one. For the meditation cushion, the dimensions are 18 by 13 by 6, and it supports the spine for comfortable sitting, and it's ideal for meditation practice. So basically, you want to sit up tall as you're meditating. Usually, like we don't recommend people to lay down to meditate because you may fall asleep and that's not the purpose of meditation. For the yoga bolster, the dimensions are 25 by 11 by 6 and this particular item adds extra support and stability and it's ideal for restorative yoga yin yoga practice. And I love restorative yoga because like it really helps me to stretch and relax. The last item in this bundle is a pranayama cushion. So this item is particularly for breath work and it assists with deep breathing exercises and it's ideal for Iyengar yoga and pranayama practice. In our yoga teacher training, we actually read the books by Iyengar. Like, this is like where our lineage come from. But this thing is so fancy. I want to say like in my training and stuff, usually we just sit whatever to do yoga practice. Like we don't necessarily like use these because it's so fancy to provide for everyone. And for this pranayama cushion, the dimensions are 26 by 6 by 3.5. So according to the package, the Crystal Cove yoga cushions that combines the bolster, oval meditation cushion, and pranayama cushion, also it's made with sustainable materials material such as the adjustable buckwheat fill and it creates a firm but stable base. So so first impression, I would say that these are a little bit different from some of the bolsters and cushions that I used in my studio where I got my training from because I felt like a lot of them they have like cotton or those like foam stuff like the sponge, the spongy stuff inside of the cushion and the bolster instead of these like buckwheat. So with buckwheat, you can definitely adjust how much filling that you have. But I like the fact that it's very firm so it's definitely more firm than a lot of like the spongy cushions so that's like a big difference like when you choose those materials when you choose so the fillings of these pillows cushions bolsters are important to consider when you're choosing like which brand or which cushions to go with because some of the cushions are more firm than the others because of the different types of filling some of them they have the sponges inside so it feels like a pillow pillow versus these are more firm like i think these are more traditional because they're buckwheat filling so these are like very firm as well it's soft but it's firm and stable 
All right, so now let's try them on. So I'm gonna show you some of the poses in yoga where you can incorporate these and to bring your practice to the next level. So usually I like to start my yin or restorative yoga practice with a heart opener. You can use the bolster or you can use the pranayama cushion. Both of them are great. So we will find a bolster and we will align the bolster to the bottom of our spine and lean onto it. There we go. And try to extend your legs, extend your hands. Ooh, this feels good. So I like this pranayama cushion because like it's not too high because like if you look at the bolster, it's way higher than the pranayama cushion. Like you can compare them side by side right here. So the bolster is wider and higher usually. And you can do the same thing with the bolster and then just like relax right here like this. So sometimes the bolster, it's like too high for my lower back. It depends on how I feel for the day. So like with a heart opener, sometimes I like to use the bolster. Sometimes I do prefer something a little bit lower, such as blocks or roller, foam roller, or like the pranayama cushion. I line up this pranayama cushion to the bottom of my spine, go all the way to my neck, supporting my neck. I can extend my legs or you could bring the soles of your feet to touch and knees are wide and rest your hands by your side or one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly or both hands on your belly. But inhale through your nose. Exhale, side it out. In restorative yoga or yin yoga, we use natural breath. So try to lengthen your inhale and exhale here. The key here is the opening of the heart. So if you want extra opening in your body, I like to come to the reclined butterfly pose. So knees are wide, toes to touch like this. So if this pose, if your knees are hovering around, I like to use two blocks or bring the cushion underneath the knee. There we go. For supporting the knee. So, all of your body are supported. So your knees are supported, your spines are supported, your heart is lifted, and your the bottom of your spine or your lower back is grounded. This is a grounding pose at the same time. We're opening up. So this is the first pose that you can do. We usually stay in each pose for a song. So maybe play like your favorite like meditative yoga songs for here. So I do like the fact that the bolster cushion, they're basically the equal height. If you can see from here, they're basically the equal height. So you don't need blocks or you don't need to like think about like, oh my gosh, they're not the same height. So when I was here, so when they're underneath my knees like this, I do like the fact that you see, it's all aligned versus the pranayama cushion is a little bit lower. That brings us to the next pose. So the next pose, I have one bolster on underneath one knee and one cushion underneath the other. Or come to the butterfly pose. And you can start to lean forward deep in this stretch or just stay here. So in restorative yoga and in, yo in yin yoga, we try to let gravity take the work. So very rarely we take active stretch. Most of the stretch are like really passive. So by having some support, you're just resting your knees on the bolster or on the cushion and sit up tall and just meditate for a song, like usually three to four minutes. So the next posture, so we will align the bolster to the top edge of the mat. So it's horizontally placed. We come here and lean on this. And you could bend your knees or you can just lay all the way down for support. This is also a big heart opener. This is a little bit more intense than the first one because the first one is aligned with your spine. But this one, you're basically creating a curve on your upper in your upper back. So if this is too much on your neck, find the pranayama cushion like a pillow. This posture also open your throat chakra. It's basically like a supported fish pose, Matyasana. So this feels really good on my body. If you want to deepen this, you can just remove this pranayama cushion and this feels really, really good. And if you want a little bit more support, you can just use the cushion underneath and just release anything from your hands. Just like lay here. This actually feels really good, especially if you crouch 
in front of the computer. Like you're always like curving your back this way, curving your spine this way. This really opens your back up. And I do think like from the review perspective, I do like the fact that the Pranayama cushion is lower in level compared to the bolster. So I can create the difference in terms of the height. So this one is higher than the Pranayama cushion. So I can use the bolster to open my heart. At the same time, this cushion really like, it gives me a little bit of support, but at the same time, I get that throat chakra opening. All right, moving on to the next posture, supported water. I like to lean on my back and put the bolster underneath my lower back. I use blocks for this also, like you can use either use a bolster or a block, both work really well. But I think a bolster is softer than the block. Be here for supported bridge pose and extend your legs. Or you can extend your legs to the ceiling to waterfall pose. So the cushion is underneath your lower back and the bolster, and then your legs are extended and then just rest your hands on the side. So this posture is really, really good if you're doing it against a wall. If you come to the wall, try to walk your hips all the way as close to the wall as possible and put this bolster underneath the lower back and then extend your legs against the wall and this feels so good. This feels really, really nice if I stand for a long time during the day, like if I went shopping, if I've been teaching yoga, like I walk around when I teach yoga. So usually like, my legs feel really, really heavy. And this is also an inversion. So it brings the blood flows from the toes, the tip of your toes, go all the way down to your heart and to your head, to your brain. So any inversions, either active or passive, really helps you to bring the blood flow back to rejuvenate. So sometimes I feel lightheaded, like sitting down or standing for too long, like I like to come to this posture. But you So the next pose is child's pose with my bolster. So it comes to a wide knee child's pose. So knees are wide, toes to touch. So knees are really, really wide, as wide as possible. Um, and then toes are touched, you sit on your heels. So, and start to lean forward and find the bolster and then just like lay down on this bolster. And then, and then put your favorite cheek on the mat. This feels really good. And then you can switch side. This is also a neck stretch. This feels really good. And also I felt like the material of this item, it's a little bit cool to touch. And it feels very refreshing. It feels like good when I lean onto it. So the next pose will come to a white legged forward fold. Extend your legs, come to a straddle and find your bolster and then lean forward. So this is a little bit tricky because a lot of us are not very bendy here, especially around our hips and our lower back. So I like to stack my cushions. So this is the bolster and this is a meditation cushion on top and then put the meditation cushion right underneath my chest and lean my chest towards this cushion and just relax here. So now you feel like a lot of support from the ground up. It really helps me to relax and release anything. Because really in yin practice and restorative practice, you're not supposed to be contracting your muscle. You're just supposed to be like passively stretched. So with the bolster and the cushion on top, I feel like I am very grounded and supported. At the same time, the gravity is taking into the work and I'm deepening the stretch of my hips and also a stretch of my lower back at the same time and just use your natural breath here. Oh, we come back up. This feels so good. I do like the set because I was wondering if I wanted to buy a yoga bolster online. I was looking up on Amazon. If I buy one bolster, or should I buy two or should I buy different ones? But I do like the fact that it comes in a set. And I think by incorporating a combination of those all three, it definitely gives me like a really good support in my yoga practice. So the next posture is our hero's pose or reclined hero's pose. So. In this pose, a lot of my students, they have knee issues, they couldn't recline. So we'll sit on the bolster and knees are like right here and let your shin just fold out. You should feel the stretch right here and you start to lean back to recline. I'm actually pretty flexible when it comes to this posture. So by incorporating this bolster, it's almost like making it harder because now I have more way to lean back. Because without this bolster, I can just lean back on it on my own like this. Or you don't have to use the bolster, you can use the pranayama cushion right here. And then you sit on the pranayama cushion here and your knees are together, shins are outside and you start to lean back 
and rest your back on this poster. So how I laid out is I sit on top of the pranayama cushion and bolster on the back and bolster will be there to support my back. And now I lean back. Wow, this feels amazing because it's basically giving me a really good quad stretch. At the same time, I felt like my lower back, the back is supported. I'm gonna push my bolster a little bit back, yes. So the key here is to use the bolster, which is higher than the pranayama cushion to support my mid back, my lower back right here. So that like it, here, there's no curve underneath my back and I can just focusing on, so I'm not really putting any tension or any contraction, any like weight on my knees. So it protects my knees at the same time, helping me like deepen this stretch and then just release and relax. So I like to hold here for a while because um, I do cycling classes and then this quad stretch really helps me out after like cycling or any squats workouts and stuff. Right. So the next posture will be a seated forward fold. So seated forward fold, usually in the yangi class, in vinyasa classes, we flex our feet and fold forward and try to reach our toes and try to deepen the stretch around our hamstrings and stuff. But in yin practice, we try not to contract our muscles, we just bend our knees gently generously right here and put up bolsters here and you can lean forward and then like put your face on the cushion. If you are like me who are not very flexible in the hamstrings and lower back, you can stack the meditation cushions right on top and then just go like this. This feels so good. Highly recommend this set. Like this actually feels really, really good. So a lot of time in yoga practice, like I see a lot of people curve their back and trying to reach. So when you curve your back, it actually, it brings a lot of like weight and tension on, around your spine because like your back is actually curved and you're putting weights on top. By putting like, you know, stacking blocks or like different props here, you're just leaning forward and then forehead on this cushion. So there's no weight on your back because the weight is actually on the cushion and right here. It also helps me to deepen this stretch because I can feel the weight is pulling my hamstrings and at the same time like bending my lower back. All right, so the next practice is a twist. So this is like a deer pose. We call this deer pose. One, one side is like in the butterfly pose and the other side is basically you bend your knees back and then the right heel to the to your hips. And this is basically open up the hips on one side and stretch the quad on the other side. You can reach to the right or recline deer or you can reach to the left on this butterfly knee to create this twist. So you found the twist, try to lean forward and put your chest on this bolster and just lean back. And you can of course deepen the stretch by looking to the left. Cause you're twisting to the left and then if you're looking to the left, you're basically deepening the stretch around your spine. Cause we're trying to twist our spine instead of our muscle here. So this also feels really good. Or we can do the other side. Depends on like how you want to stretch your neck for the day. And of course you can switch side. Basically you come to deer first. One leg is butterfly, one leg is folding back. And then you fold onto the butterfly side and just lean up right here for this twist. Slowly come back. Next, we'll do the supine twist to finish today's practice. We'll find the pranayama cushion underneath my neck. And then we'll bring the left knee to your chest. First, let's just do this wind relieving pose. Just circle your knee right here. It feels good on my hip. And then use the right hand to bring the left knee cross your body and find this poster right here. Just be on top like this. And if you want to extend your left leg, you lay your bolster and your cushion side by side and it helps when they're on the same equal height level. Use the right hand to bring the left knee across your body to the right. So first I like to do it with my left knee bended and extend the left hand towards the left. Keep the left shoulder all the way on the ground. So once you find it, extend the left leg towards the right. So now my left leg is straight on top of the poster and the cushion. And my right leg is wherever it was at the beginning. And then this is a supine twist. And your gaze is towards the left. 
So in this pose, you're twisting the spine, but at the same time, by extending the left leg, you also feel like some stretch on the left leg as well. And of course, if you did it on one side, make sure you did it on the other side as well. All right, guys, finally, let's try out this meditation cushion. Let's meditate on this. Different ways of meditate. You can sit on hero's pose, like on your knees, or you could just like sit like this, like cross your legs. Let's see. Mm. Let's try it. Let's just make a butt print right here on the cushion. Yeah, I like to wiggle my booty to make this cushion in the shape that goes perfectly for me, perfect fit for me, and then cross my legs and hands on my knees, close my eyes. It actually feels really good. Like I feel grounded because a lot of times with other types of cushion, especially when it comes to like the memory foam or like cushions that has like a sponge inside, I feel like it's soft, but I don't like the fact that it's too soft that like my hips go all the way into this cushion. I think that defeats the purpose of feeling grounded because you should feel like a solid ground underneath your booty to support you. Like when you meditate, you should feel grounded and safe and then like feel like you feel safe when you explore it internally to feel like, oh, what's going on in your mind? Observe inward, observe your breath. So I do like the fact that it does create an elevation um of my body of my hips so my hips are very 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 tight so without this it always feel bad like so without this it always hurts as i like sit for like meditate for a while so with this it helps me to elevate my booty my hips so my legs are crossed but they're not like eh, hinging together and it really helps me to ground down and lift up sit up tall and chest is open shoulder is rested and just meditate like this i do think it feels really good and it helps me to create space in my body. So I do feel like the height of this is perfect to my body, but of course everyone is different. I really do enjoy this bundle from the brand Brandwood Home that my friend got me from Costco. And I do think they're very, very useful. And I think it was created with intentions like the height and the material and the filling and then like how much filling is inside. It's very intentional. So I do think these are really, really, really good items. It's my honest review. The brand didn't tell me anything. My friend gifted me this. And I am so grateful for all of the amazing yogis, amazing friends that I met and my studio and I would love to incorporate these in my daily practice as well. So yeah, that's it for today's video. So this video is kind of like a review and a workshop type of style. But if you want like a full on class, make sure you check out my yoga channel, Yoga With Me. Make sure you subscribe to that channel as well and ring the notification bell. I have several different jobs. So like my upload schedule is a little bit different and consistent uh, across different platforms. So make sure you check it out. Also follow me on Instagram, Miss Me Lifestyle. And yeah, I will link this product down below. I'll to find it online as well if you're interested. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Before you go, don't forget to like and to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Follow my yoga channel, Yoga With Me. Follow my Instagram, Miss Me Lifestyle. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.